What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. I am back with another video today and I'm going to show you best three Photoshop design effects that you can create on the Pixel Lab app. There will still be so much that you can do with these effects and I can't really wait to show you all. Before I start this video, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram for more graphic design related stuff as you can see on the screen. And as always, without wasting any more time, let's get started. Okay, so the first design will look like this, something like this. This is the design that we are going to create and I'm just going to go on to my default screen from this design. And as you can see, I've deleted the text as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the image that we are going to using we are going to be using in this facial design. So I have a PNG image that is right over here, and I'm just going to import it and use it into my design. So this is the image that we are going to use into this particular effect. You can obviously use your own images or your own design. You can do whatever. You just have to learn the basic design. So right now I'm just going to hide this image and I'm going to add a text and i'm going to add victory on my text so this is what i'm going to type in victory yes in the caps and this is how it looks like so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into fonts from here and as you can see i'm going to search the best suitable font for this effect the font that you will need is should be it should be at least in italic it, it is going to be good and that font should be like kind of in a boxy corner right angle tang right triangular font font so yeah that is what i'm going to use but you can also you know go creative with your design ideas and use different fonts for now i'm going to use this font right here and this is how the font looks like i think it's pretty good i'm just going to adjust the font size like this also the tilt from here and this is how it looks like it looks it looks pretty good i think okay so right now we've got our font now what i'm going to do is i'm going to see how it looks with the image so I'm just going to unhide it and this is how it looks like. So as you can see, I have tried out uh, multiple images with multiple designs. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty good and it looks good with this image as well. So what I did is now copied the image or sorry, copied the text and I'm just going to keep it on top of that first text layer. And I'm going to go and search for st stroke stroke effect, which is like this and add a stroke onto my copied layer if that makes sense so i'm just going to add a black border around that text layer which is a stroke and keep it on top of that first white layer so right now what i'm going to do is i want to create another layer so i'm going to copy it once again the text layer and i'm going to keep this text layer on top of that again on the same text layer and uh, i'm going to put precisely match it so that they are not visible and they are perfectly aligned so what i'm going to do is i'm going to merge the top two layers the one with that just copied and the one with stroke and this is how we will create a text layer into uh, image layer so yeah that will be a different fine uh, style of or different type of layer and that will be an image layer if that makes sense so we've got a text layer like this and we've got a image layer which is a text like this so these are the two text layers that we've got so i'm going to show you why we need it now i'm going to search for this effect this eraser tool and i'm going to erase out the white white uh, color out of this text layer so as you can see what i have selected is this layer and i've got to left with this stroke outer line stroke of that text layer because we have wiped out the white part so now wait right now i'm going to keep it on top of this layer the the border one and just going to slide this image in between these two so that white text layer is in the below then in the middle there is an image and on top there is a stroke or the outline part i'm going to change the color of the stroke as well and i'm going to uh, desaturate the image so right now what i'm doing is desaturating this image and making it black and white yes we got some tools so this is the tool and i'm going to add the color of white or background 
background color to black and the outline text is going to be white so that's going to be white from here and just change it to white right here so yeah what we did is just change the background color to black and the stroke layer color to white and this is how it looks like so this will create a good effect you can also you know use it like this you can keep it a little bit offset and it also will create kind of a 3d effect so that is also one more effect that you can do and uh, yeah i mean like this is how it looks like you can also add shadows if you want and you can also as a glow so if you want to add a glow you just have to add a shadow blur to it and make it white so yeah that will look like a glow effect so this is how it looks like this is how the basic effect of this design looks like and then you can add multiple things on top of this effect maybe change colors to it and i'm going to show you how you can add colors to it as well so yeah if you have a brand color that goes together with your design then you can add the text layer with some other color and may see how it would look like so this is how it looks like let me know how do you find it if you do understood the effect and uh, right now what i'm doing is uh, trimming out the image so if you have any if you have any trim like extra part from your image that you don't want it to have you can also trim it with the marks tool so right now i'm doing is adjusting the nodes and i'm just going to keep it right below right here which is which is trimming down the image from bottom a little bit and making it parallel to the text so that's what i'm doing right now and trimming out this image so that it could match a little bit better than it is actually so yeah this is, looks really good this looks super cool and i think this effect is also like kind of a common effect but i think you should use this effect to your designs and you should know this at least and uh, this outer line effect thing you can use it to your multiple designs i have used it to my instagram design as well so if you have seen my instagram designs i'm using these outline stroke effects and it looks really good with this text typography so do let me know do do let me know how do you find this effect and let's move on to the next effect that okay coming up on the second effect of this design effect seeing a uh, different effect video is going to be this design right here in front of you so this is like kind of a colorful design that you can create out of shapes this is just the basic design and what the intention behind to show you this design is that you can be as using simple shapes and create some good contrasty designs by using pixel app so you don't have to use crazy effects you don't have to go really crazy with your effects or your design skill you can just create a good design with basic elements so this is going to be an instagram post so i'm going to use it 1080 by 30 uh, 1350 aspect ratio and i'm going to add text right here to create this design and i'm just going to add the text like you can add any text if you want but i'm just going to add design right here so what i'm doing is spacing uh, like keeping a space in between the you know front and back on the text and i'm going to type it letter by letter so this is the first letter of our design text and i'm going to use the font which is this one right here so this is the font that uh, looks really good i think and uh, you can also check out other fonts if you want to but i think this is a pretty good font for this design right now i've just copied the same text d and i'm just going to add some other text layers right here so this is the second one will be e and uh, yeah this is the thing that i'm going to uh, do over and over again so i'm just going to speed it up a little bit and add all those text effects or text actually in a sequentially order so this is how i'm doing it in a fast forward thing okay after adding the text and adjusting it that uh, it looks perfectly well well balanced i'm what i'm going to do is add a sh add a just a normal layer a solid layer a rectangular layer and i'm going to extend the n part or in in or this in leg till below so i'm just going to add a white white uh, rectangular layer resize it a little bit make sure it is it is matching with the with the stroke size of n 
so that it won't look disconnected or it won't look like weird yeah so i'm just doing like this i'm also going to cop copy it once again like this and this is, is going to be our second layer which is like this and i'm just going to add these layers like this so this will be our eye effect or eye letter for design if text and this is how i'm going to place it as i said earlier you can just go creative and use uh, different ideas if you want and you can really get together you can add more text like this i'm just showing you the way you can create uh, the basic design and this is how it looks like so right now what we are going to do is i'm going to change the background color to white and i want all my text to be in back black and i think i should have done it in the first attempt but i forgot so right now i have to change all the colors from the text to black so yeah this is what i'm going to create i think uh, i should uh, you even merge this in with uh, that line that we added so that as that is what i'm going to do and change the color to black okay now that i have changed color all the text color to black this is how it looks like this is just a basic basic design effect and we are going to add the shapes right now now once you have done like arranging the text you are happy with how the size of the text looks like how it feels the design if it is in the middle in the light in the right alignment and right now what i'm going to do is add the shapes so i will just keep on adding shapes like this just the rectangular shapes are like this and i'm going to use three basic colors the first one is going to be the yellow one so yellow is the color that we're going to add right here like this and i'm just going to copy it once again keep it right below over here also you will have to keep on changing the rectangular size so you can just do that pretty easily and i'm going to use the second color of this of this design which is going to be a little blue like this not a very hard blue but yeah it's it is like looking like this and uh, i'm just going to copy it once again and change the size to a little bit different and i'm going to add the third color of this effect is going to be the red one so yeah these are the three colors that we're going to use you can also refer to other color, color palette if you have it but uh, these two three colors are looking great with white and black text so altogether this design is actually a eye pleasing design i find it really cool and i thought that i should share with you share it with you guys this is how it looks like i'm also going to use some other shapes like this half circle this half circle is available by the way in onto the shapes area so you can just get, grab it from there and apply it to your design so this is what i'm going to do i'm just going to copy some bunch of these uh, rectangles and half circles i'm going to add one more line right here like this copy it just just copy it and add it uh, make sure you are actually making this design into a balanced way and you will always have to look that how this design is developing if you have any changes you can do that anyway anytime in this while you're using this making this design and it looks really good so once you add add changes to it at the end you will end up something like this this is the final design you can also add your text you can add your logos i've added the logo right here like this and this is how the design looks like let me know that i i am i'm sure that this design is pretty easy for you but uh, yeah this is like kind of a beginner design you can try it out by yourself put your name into this text and maybe create something really good out of it let me know what you think about this design in the comments below and let's move on to the last design effect of this video coming up with the third and the last effect of this video is going to be this effect this uh, text layer effect this is a typography effect i don't know but it looks really dope and it has been used by a lot of graphic designers out there and i thought that we can create this design effect into our pixel app app as well so that is what we are going to create today and uh, this is our pixel app just the basic pixel app default section and what i'm going to do is add our first text which will be amazing you can choose obviously any text you want and i'm just going to add it and keep it in the middle so once i have the text i'm going to add a font over here i want a really bold and a very good font 
so that I get looks really good. And this is the phone that I'm going to use for this design. So yeah, you can choose, well, obviously you can choose a lot of fonts from here and you can see by yourself how it looks with every other font that you have. So right now I'm going to add and choose the this font right here. This is also looks really good and I think this will do the job as well. So right now I'm going to keep it in the middle like this. So yeah, you will have to take care of middleness and where your text is looking. And what I'm doing is right now is adding the solid layer like this and keeping it on top of this text that we have added. Why I'm doing this one is you will get it in the end. But for now, just get that yet you have to add a solid layer, which is in black and you can move it back into the background. So this is how it looks like. So just the basic, you don't have to be like very precise with this uh, layer. You can, you know, go a little around with that. Don't have to have any preciseness into this one, but yeah, it should look something like this. So once you are happy with uh, how do you, how it looks like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the text again and copy it once again. So just copy the text like this and keep it on top of that first text like this. And this is how it looks like. Make sure you're using the alignment correctly. You can also use this tool that we have to align it perfectly in the middle. And right now I'm going to move it back to background from that solid layer and hide it a little bit underneath that solid layer. So this is how it looks like. Again, I'm copying the same text layer once again. And on the other side, on the bottom side, I'm going to keep it and move it back to background and hide it underneath that black square solid layer. So this is how it looks like, just the basic one. And make sure you are following me with this design correctly because uh, this is how it is going to look like and eventually it will develop more effects. So yeah, this is how it looks like. Again, I'm going to click on the plus icon and add shape over here. One more shape. And I'm going to keep it just like this. And also you can also go and do like this. And also match it with uh, the text that you are having. So this is what you have to do just like me. Another getting that stroke layer, making it black. Then go to your layers and move it back to the background all the way to the background. So now this is how it will look like. Again, copy the same layer. Uh, if you have any mistake, if you have done any, any mistake, you can just log, lock the layer from the layers option. And yeah, this is how I'm going to adjust. Likewise, I said you don't have to be very precise. And uh, for now, for the third time, for the top area, I'm going to add one more layer and keep it in the background in the layers. And this is how it is going to be looking like. So yeah, you can adjust your layers and make sure they align perfectly. And this is how it looks like. So we are pretty much done with this effect. We just need to add two more text layers. And I'm going to select the middle one again, the first one. And I'm going to copy it once again. And now I'm going to keep it on top of that just like this. So right now the image which will the text layer which will hide is it is going to be a lot. And it, this is how this is how much the image or the text layer will hide behind that second layer. And I'm going to do the same thing. And uh, yeah, just align it perfectly. And move it to the background. So I'm going to go into layers now. Maybe I'm going to align them a little bit from this button. You can go to background and this is how it looks like. So these are the text layers and this is how it looks like right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to align them perfectly. So if you are doing a bad job with aligning the text correctly, then it, this effect will not look good. So make sure you use this tool right here and align them perfectly with your design. So this is how it looks like uh, I'm just going to align them particularly like this, as you can see on the screen and alignment is very important. So once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to change the background color to black. So yeah, that is what I'm going to do. Let me finish this alignment stuff first. And I'm putting on more emphasis on alignment. 
So right now in the background section right here and I'm going to select the black background and bam this is how the effects looks with the background effect being black. So this is how it will come together. Now what you will have to do is you will have to add shadows to your text layers and make sure the shadow will fall on the like the second layer of the text so that it creates a little bit of depth and it looks really good when the shadow falling over the other text. This is how it looks like. And this is how the final output of this effect looks like. You can do changes as you want as I always say and create more creative things with these effects. You can also you know tag me with your designs just like this and let me know how do you find this one if you can use this design to some of your designs make sure you upload them to instagram or telegram wherever and tag me and let me know how do you find this design in the comments below this is the third design and this is how it looks like and this is the video guys i hope you have learned something new out of this video and i hope this video helps you out eventually making good designs if you have any queries with these designs let me know in the comments below sorry that i am not uploading video very regularly but i'm trying my level best to upload videos on this channel continuously and thank you so much for 15k subscribers and without wasting any more time i subscribe to this channel uh, like this video if you liked any of this effects and i will catch you guys in my next video